All right, let's go. Regret. Here we go. Good job, everybody. That was like the We Are the World of songs about your mom being a hoe. <laughs> I didn't write that bit. That was Tully. Everything was about like staying positive and never giving up. And then he starts fucking your mom and says that she fucks everybody else. I was just like, we're not going to give up. Fuck you, serious. <laughs> we, we did both, I feel. Yes. It's a song Saying that works. You're on, all your mothers are hoes. Yeah, Thank you. Works on works on many levels. So anyway, uh, I gotta say, man, skank, skank fest, skank people, fucking wow! I'm an idiot. I, I thought at one point people were like, we're, "What'd you do? Somebody party fell already? <laughs> you pour a beer on somebody's neck? Red dragons? <laughs> oh shit! Wait, I got a fucking idiot. Yeah, get yeah, stay with me. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Red dragons. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I want to say that um, I shouldn't be surprised, but everybody is more than friendly. Like, it's a re I feel like I'm at Ellis Mania. I can't really tell the difference. Maybe every now and then someone... Yeah. So very friendly people and very talented people. And speaking of uh, the most talented, I would say these three cornholes. Uh, we got Dan Soder, Louis J. Gomez, and Big J Okerson all here to come on the Jason Ellis Show. So make some noise for these guys. All right. <laughs> tap, Ellis, tap. Don't ever tap. Yes, I beat him. Fucking asshole. Fuck you, Joe Rogan. <laughs> All right, that'll do. You win. It's over. Okay, so... Hey, proper funny guys, what's it like? <laughs> Sorry I didn't throw you in a chokehold when I first saw you. It's, we have a different relationship. <laughs> it's like, wait, are oh, you real happy about that? I am. I got that win. Got the W, 1-0, Gomez. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah. I was never much of a jujitsu guy. Oh, we got some Atlas fans in the house. Look at this, too. Cheap shots. I, yeah, that's right. I take cheap shots. That's how you fucking win, baby boy. Yeah. You see an opening in life, you take that shot. Yeah. Well, tomorrow, there's a bell. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that kind of, like, annoyed me a little bit. I know it did. I'm sure it did. Yeah. I know. I well, think that was stupid. He already told me that uh, I was going too hard on the fans today. Yeah, really? Don't you anybody, does anybody agree? I don't agree. No? You did oh. work that one guy over pretty good. <laughs> and honestly, if you could have just, if you could have just put a fake smile on your face while you did it, it wouldn't have looked so fit, but you were like, fuck this guy. You're trying to hurt my baby. At one, yeah, at one point you punched one of the guys in the dick and yeah, I was like, really? Was stomach. And you walked off like you were like, yeah, and tell your other bull that I'll get him next. Like you were, <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, like, not only did you foul him, but you were like, yeah, plenty, plenty more I, where that came from. Can I defend myself here? Okay, so I had Apparently no idea. Apparently you love defending yourself. No, Alice, <laughs> Alice tells me, all right, he goes, all right, the, uh, the musical chair fight, he was like, everyone on that one is like very like amateur level. They don't really know how to fight. He was like, the guys who are in the pinata fight are a step above those guys. And I watched the guys at the end of the musical chair fight, they were fucking wailing on each other. So yeah. I was like, oh, shit, dude, this shit's going to get crazy. <laughs> so I put my mouthpiece in, and I was like, all right, dude, these guys are going to come at me. And they started coming at me, and I was, I just saw fucking red, dude. 
And I started wailing on these guys. And then halfway through, I was like, oh, shit, dude. These guys are just fucking nice people. I feel like, uh, I feel like the one that was fighting you the most was the one that loves you the most because he was trying to, like, yeah. get the, like, the skank respect. Yeah. And, I, and I could tell, like, he, didn't, he wasn't going to stop. No. And I was trying to, like, punch him and, like, come over here and play friendly fights. Because if you do that for this whole thing, you might get brain damage. Lewis is going to kill you. Because you threw some pretty hard shots. They kind of skimmed. Yeah. But you could have, you know. Jay's I, pretty hard. I feel like you don't know Lewis very well. This is indicative of all of his relationships in life. <laughs> he's punched you? This is what he does. No, he's never punched me, but, like, he wants to wrestle a lot. Eh, it is confusing. I get that. Can I tell you something? I'm as actually... a guy that fights like you and want to be, like, a fake fighter like you, yeah, I like. I feel like it's a li like maybe there was a little bit more under my belt that stops me from wanting to tickle dudes as much, and that's crazy because I'm a homo. <laughs> By the way, you know, now that you're saying it, the things Lewis asks me the most is he tries to wrestle me. Uh, it's just all gay. Go to stuff. Jamaica. You want to go to Jamaica on trips with me? You ask me to all steam time three him. times a week. And then when you go steaming, you tell me all the stories of gay stuff happening in there, and then you go, "Wait, what? Well, you should come." Wait, this you did gay stuff there? I don't do any gay shit, dude, but this is how, this is how much I love steaming is that I stave off old gay guys at Equinox three times a week. Yeah, that's what you do. I fight them off. Yeah, there's only one way to fight them off. Empty their bags, dude. <laughs> yeah, you know, done, they, they, they talk to each other about you. They're like, there's this Puerto Rican that can't get enough. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. My pores are clear. Enjoy. Yeah. I'm telling you, go in the steam room. He'll make you feel very good. <laughs> You have a schwitz. A young Puerto Rican fella comes in and knocks your cock around. <laughs> oh, hey, it's... I don't... I can't say, right? All right. Oh, it's, yeah, a, it's your friend. You remember her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, we can't say. Hey, you scared me. We ran a train on Carolyn, and... Uh... Yeah, I was there, of course. Yeah, of course. It was pretty great. <laughs> Yeah. So there we were, running the train, and then fucking, woo, you know, we fell off a cliff. And we all died. So that's that story. <laughs> so anyway, moving along. Yeah, that story yeah. died in the fire. No, that wasn't that crazy of a story. Nothing even happened. Carolyn, why can't we tell that story? Nothing happened. Wait, all right, here we go. From she your said, she yes. said okay. Uh, Wait, she said from okay. your perspective, okay, so did something happen? We could do, we could do multiple said, sure. angles. We'll do multiple angles on this, because... That's what I, we did, said that I, didn't, night. I didn't know what the original thing that would have like freaked me out the most happened when she actually fainted. I didn't see that part. So catch I, us all up. Uh, let's, let's let's get to let's get to me watching my fights on my phone. And there's drinkers and there's the weed guys, myself. Jordan's got a fucking dab bong over in the corner. So he's doing dabs. Well, tell them where we are. I don't even think they know where we're at right now. This well, is we were in a we're in a houseboat at Ellis Mania. Sorry. Yeah. So we're in uh, Lake Havasu in a houseboat after the event. Everyone's fucking raging. Uh, not that many people are allowed on the boat because it's super anal times. Uh, and he that's comes... What, that's what Jason calls every after party. <laughs> this is, this, okay, my bad choice. Super anal times. Super anal times. That, that, sounds like, that sounds like the most fun Japanese game show. <laughs> Super anal time. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna start calling it that from now on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Babe, I think it's time for Super Anal Times. I can't even say. Yeah. Anyway, so the boat is there. Not that many people are allowed on, and he shows up really wasted. And I remember thinking, Oh wow, you get super wasted. Yeah. Good to know. And. She comes over and introduces herself to me, and I'm like, it wasn't, yes. ju well, it wasn't just me. I don't, and I don't write my, that is supposed to wear a mask. Uh, nice to meet you. And I'm like, yeah, cool, man. You're cool. Lewis is like, choose me. And I'm like, yeah, no shit, dude. Like, pretty fucking apparent that, like, there was like eight MMA dudes, and now there's like a really wasted chick in Lewis. And oh, Harrington. Oh, and Harrington, and which Harrington. always is yeah, it's very easy to see his back hair coming a mile away. <laughs> so I don't know what's happened. I don't know that she's done a dab. So she does a dab right there. And I'm looking at the fight right here. And there's a crowd of people right there that are watching her do the dab. So I'm watching the fights very intently. And I guess she is, she does a dab. Then she kind of stands back. 
And she holds this rail bit above her hand a little bit for a second, then a little sway, a little sway, and then, woo, off she goes. <laughs> so she's gone and she's out. And everyone's looking at me because I run the houseboat, I run Alice Mania, it's my fucking thing. And they're like, shit. Who's going to tell the boss? Uh. And the boss is high as fuck watching fights. And I'm like, why do I feel <laughs> like everything has stopped? You know what I mean? And I, and, and I look up at this side that, is, that saw her go down and they're like, oh, oh, you don't want to. And I'm like, I don't want to what? And I look back like that. And I just took a look back and look back at the fights. And my glance was a person that was on her back with her eyes fucking open. <laughs> Out. Holy shit. So I go, I go, and then I go, what the? And then this dude, glass-eyed, like, fucking on all kinds of treats, he goes, I, as soon as I look and I go, oh, what the fuck? And he goes, oh, no, dude, she's with me. <laughs> and I'm like, what? How does that make everything okay? Oh. And then I go over there and we, you know, we, well, look, we wake I, her up and then she wakes up, sure enough, she wakes up and she's like, ah, oh, you know, and then you kind of carried her out. Can I, can I tell out. you what? We did carry her out and it really looked like me and Harrington were about to rape this child. <laughs> it was crazy. I know Jason and his crew are like, well, there goes Lewis and Harrington. They're going to go rape. Yeah. We're going to have a lawsuit. If it looks like a rape and smells like a rape, <laughs> it's probably a rape. <laughs> But I've known Carolyn for years, and she's a friend, and she just got too high and passed out and bumped her head. That happens. <laughs> See, that's that the, happens sometimes. What are you, Bill it's Cosby's defense lawyer? <laughs> Raise your hands if you have not passed out on a houseboat in Lake Havasu. I mean, come on. I'm just saying, we've all taken too big of a dab, but passed out and had to be carried off of a houseboat in a hurry by friends. Yeah, but the point is waking up to you in Harrington. <laughs> Me and Harrington just she, grappling in a hotel room. Yeah. Oh, come on. Shoot the legs. Shoot the legs. She oh, handled it like hey. that. Yeah. She looked at it like, oh, yeah, you too. Yeah. Let's go. What's up, guys? Pick me up? Yeah. Hey, Sleeping yeah. Beauty. I'm just about to sink this Darsh choke in. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. scared me just for a second. No, I understand. I saw and then, the of course, when face. you said she's with me, then I totally knew everything was okay. Well, can, yeah, that means Lewis was going to take the charge. That's exactly what I was trying to say to him. I saw his face. He was like, dude. <laughs> I, just he, from that one. No, like, he was like, dude, this is fucking crazy. There's a good girl. She passed out. I don't know her. And I wanted to just let him know, like, dude, relax. She'll be my problem. I guess. Do you understand you're how happy. crazy that is that you think she's with me relays you saying I'll take the case? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's not what it is. You were just saying, like, you were saying, like, I was like, stop sweating, dude. She does this. <laughs> he, he, She'll have, pop up. <laughs> that would have calmed me down a little bit if you had. You guys are that. better than me, dude. I had a uh, couple comics and girls doing whippets in a room years ago, and one of the girls did a whippets and face planted on the floor. And in my whippets, wah wah wah, I went put her in the hallway. Swear to God, I yelled that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds horrific when I hear it back, but. I meant it when I said it. And that and that comedian was Amy Schumer. Everybody, TV's Amy Schumer. She went to the top after that whip it. <laughs> I like when you guys do it. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, do it again. <laughs> Blue Chew gets you hard, 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 hard bone. <laughs> Yeah. Guys, 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 I know that's your favorite song, but I need you to stop singing it for just a second so we can tell everybody why you love Blue Chew so much. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. You should see how excited Jason gets when that discreet packaging shows up in his mailbox. You should see how excited my penis gets when I... Uh... Indulge. <laughs> Blue Chew is an online prescription service. No visits to the doctor's office. Who's got the time? Who wants to go talk to some weird dude in a room that smells like tongue depressors about their boners? I never saw him. <laughs> the process is so simple. It's so easy. And here is a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code Ellis at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com promo code Ellis to receive your first month free 
And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Yeah, thanks, Blue Chew. We're talking to you today once again about Keeps, the smart and effective way to keep the hair on your head. Fun fact, my wife, I didn't know this when I met her, she basically has like proto-devil horns on her skull, like right where the horns would be. I if thought she... you were going to say when you met her, she was bald, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a genetic trait that she's passed down to each of my children. When I lovingly rub my fingers through my hair, I can feel that they basically have devil horns growing on their skull. Can't cool. see it because of the hair. And that's why if and when my boy starts, should I love with all my heart, start showing the slightest little bit of receding of hair. I'm going to tell him he needs to get with Keeps pronto because there's no time to waste. Why would you lose your hair and show the world your satanic devil horns when instead he can keep his luscious flowing locks? It's so easy to just use Keeps. Yeah. I mean, I, I went bald and it was too late because I'm old and bald, but uh, I remember, man, like sometimes you catch an angle in the sun and I could see in the revision mirror where it was a little thin on the corner and I was like, whoa, is that really happening? And man, if I was that boy right now listening to this podcast, I could have been saved. That's yeah. right. I heard a rumor that uh, two out of three men will experience some form of baldness before they're 35. Oh I don't know if you guys caught that little bit of information. <laughs> you can't believe everything you hear on the street corner, but that little uh, tidbit uh, sadly, is true. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Ellis to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Ellis to get your first month free. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Ellis. Yeah, but today was so much fun. This guy right here in the pink is a fucking beast. Yeah. I, did I punch him in the dick or was it directly in the bread basket? The stomach, dude. But it was Ellis, you were squaring off with Ellis, and Ellis was laying it on you, and I just saw the opening and went, boom, right in the stomach. Oh, Ellis. I don't want to make it. And then Ellis went, he was like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. I did try to say that while you were beating up your fans. Yeah. I was right next to your head, and I was like, hey, why are you doing that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, like, look, I looked at the fan, and I looked at him, and I was like, the fan is in trouble. <laughs> he's holding his own, but he's no, he definitely needs to, like, move away from you but you were I, was, thought, I could tell he was like Lewis is gonna love me for this you fucking idiot yeah. kept flying in from out of nowhere like back and I kept like distracting him and put him somewhere else and then comes running in with a thousand punches and then of course you're like fuck yeah I'm gonna knock out a fan let's go well I mean look I wasn't actually trying to knock them out let's get real Jason when in that bl in the blindfolded fight is that the first time you've ever been I mean that guy punched you like you that fucking saw him <laughs> That was yeah, a that, solid connection. Yeah. Oh, yeah. when you were roughing, you got hit? Yeah. I didn't oh. see that. Oh, you didn't yeah. see it, dude. I he thought, got he, I thought he knew it was me, and he just fucking hooked me right in the fucking chin, dude. Like, really, like, as like hard as he could, right you on the what? button. Yeah. I can't believe, one, it didn't rock me, and the other one, I can't believe my glasses stayed on, because it was like a, <laughs> it was such a, I was like, boom, and I'm like, oh. wait, was that his arm? Because that was coming pretty far. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, fucking uh, Nerf knuckles over there. I've never identified with someone more than after when you got punched. You did the first, you're like, oh, it's okay. You fucked. You kicked him. I was like, I know that. I know that feeling. I know that feeling so much. We're like, no, 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 don't oh, fucking get over yeah, here. Was, that, well, the other reason I did that is because he, he did a couple of moves where I, he looked like he could see everything. Ah. And I was like, well, here's one for you. <laughs> so Look you at this. That. Harrington's going to fucking sleep tonight, dude. Oh, yeah, Harrington. Harrington, by the way, and I mean this to me and Harrington worked on his game plan. The game plan was cover to, to cover up in the round one, get Harry, get Dylan to, to tire himself out, and then to beat Dylan into actual man tears in round two. And that's what happened. It was fucking wild. No, I, he didn't so, cry. Dylan cried. No. Right in the ring, he cried. <laughs> Shut up. For real? Right in the ring, he fucking cried. Ask Eddie Jackson. I swear to God, he cried. Wait, is that a, is that a, are you dissing him for that? For crying? It yeah. wasn't an, a show of emotion. Like, I can't believe I did it. He cried because a man punched him. Oh. Oh, you think? A hundred, I know. But he didn't cry because he lost? No. Oh, you know that. What'd you say? Oh, there's Dylan right now. There he is. He's mad. He looks, he's, you, he's crying right now. Did you fire him? That's not cool, man. 
Hey, did you fire him? We fired him. Yeah, dude, he doesn't have a job here. We actually so now who's he we, work for? We ejected him from the festival. He's actually here illegally. So who does he work for I on don't Monday? Know. This is it. You guys are bullshit artists, right? Yeah. No, we're not going to really fire him. You're going to like put him in another like division where you pretend you're not his boss. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're now dude. on Harrington Patrol, which has nothing to do with fucking gaslight. <laughs> just no digital over here at all. You know, I just noticed. What? And I said when you guys fight that I'm going to bet heavy on you, but Jason just bullied you into changing your whole fucking opinion. <laughs> That's why. You were like... That's He's, why you I go, bet Robert Kelly and Joe List, and I'm on Team Ellis for the fight, baby. You go. Because yeah, you're a disloyal fucking cocksucker, Dan. And I can't wait until that fucking billions well dries up. Did you see Just how... Just doing fucking... Oh, fired, so fuck you. Dan. Dan. Fired? No, no. Dan, did you see how masculine that was? Yeah. I'm fucking wet. Lewis goes, yeah, he's fired. <laughs> and Jason went like this. He goes... You're bullshit, us, right? You're not going to do that. And Lewis went, no, we're not going to hire him. Like, Yo, what the fuck was that? That was schoolyard shit. I did just verbally tap to Jason. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I don't even want my whole sandwich. Of course you can have that. <laughs> oh, sure, you're just going to look at my bike? Here you go. Yeah. Take it forward, I'll bring it back tomorrow. That's cool. I kind of know this guy. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, do we get like a TV or a video game when we win tomorrow? Tomorrow, if we win, no, we get nothing. Right. What about like kratom shots or some shit like that? <laughs> I mean, this dude, I can get you a lifetime supply of kratom. I already have from you. We can get you. The kratom. first package that I got from your kratom was they got sixty dollar kilos and they gave me like fucking eight sixty dollar kilos. Like it's just me. Wow. Like I'm trying to get my wife on it, but we're talking like. <laughs> She does like fucking me, like if you know, I try to pack and, up and vomit should... whenever I can, but I can't stay you and your on wife, that all the you time. You and your wife should take it to Hollywood, like True Romance, and try to sell it to a big time movie director. <laughs> you gotta try this shit. <laughs> yeah, no. Dude, when you brought a guy it named up... Drexel brought it over from Yo Kratom. <laughs> Is it White Boy Day? Take your kilos. When you brought out the real fighters, it was funny to watch all the women there be like, "Oh, those are men. Look at those men." <laughs> That's not You just had go. comics and people volunteering and then actual MMA fighters, all the women were like, oh, hi. Oh, my God. There's a lot of guys in here are going to get naked in front of their girls later and their girlfriends are going to go, Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a wow. bitch. We're about to watch the naked roast later on tonight, which Jason Ellis is judging. Yeah. I'm Jason Ellis will shit? be judging the naked I've roast. Never, I've never seen your dick, but I've heard it on yeah. Howard Stern yeah. before. Surprise, fucking... It's going to be great. I can't wait. I love it. It's not true. I don't like... I'm, it's surprising how much I don't want to show, like, everybody my dick. Yeah. Because I, I am a fan, but it's just like... Why, why did you say yes? Because you asked me. Yeah. You realize I called Lewis you back because my wife said, make sure it's not just you. <laughs> and I was Are like, he wouldn't do that to me. And she's like, fucking ask him. <laughs> Are all the judges naked? All the judges are oh, naked. Yeah. Ari, Ari's on the panel. Uh, I feel like Steve some, of, is some of your fat friends, like you got one guy that's like, he's going to be like super naked. I'm like, isn't he's got over his dick? That kind of doesn't even count. <laughs> <laughs> all these Peter Griffin bodies. <laughs> They're never really naked. Jason, Bobby yeah, Kelly Bob, already went to bed. You're never really naked what? with a gut. Has anybody on this stage... Jason's the only one doing it tonight. Has anybody on this stage ever done it? Lewis, have you done? No, dude, I would never get naked in front of these people. Why not? Not in a million years. I no have way. a mediocre dick and a shitty ass. Just, oh, that shitty Who ass. Be... If I had a nice ass and a yeah. nice dick, I would, uh, I'd be naked right now. Dude, I, I feel like I got no buns. Dude, it sucks. I'm all hips, no buns. <laughs> oh, man, all hips. All hips, but dude. Truth I'll, I'll put you through a wall, but you had nothing to grab <laughs> on I've, I've, I've once... You got a hell of a sprawl, but no <laughs> yeah. ass. Yeah, fucking shoot on me. See what happens. <laughs> Jason, I watch you fight in speedos. Like you don't, you, you're comfortable with your body. If I had okay. your body and your dick and your butt, I'd be out there on the naked roast. Well, you're gayer than me. Oh yeah, dude. I never said that. Just, just for really the ass. record, I know he doesn't want to talk about to himself, but Dan's got a big, huge, fat cock himself. No, I don't. So why Dan, don't I, I have it? looked at Dan's dick while pissing next to him. He's got a big, heavy fucking dick. Wait, you a haven't grip. seen it? No, I like to call it. it. I like to call it a grip of dick. Just for it. It comes out between a, the fingers. I don't have like an Ari or a Kurt Metzger dick. 
Uh, uh, you Wait, got, could, you got an Ari dick. Uh, I, you guys look at a lot of dicks, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah it's a majority of East Coast comedy. <laughs> yeah. Right. I it's, gotta it's, add some of that to my shit. Yeah. It's the genre of comedy that we yeah. do. <laughs> it's Looking called at each other's dicks. quasi homo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All I the feel like that's what I am. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, All you found your brethren. <laughs> quasi homo. That's quasi motos. Gay cousin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All the rapey comics are in L.A. All the fucking cool racists are in the East Coast. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we only take either. sex from each other. <laughs> But I'm gonna tell you right now, see, that's what happens in LA when somebody gets uh, accused of a sex crime, all of their friends just sort of like separate from them. They go like, yeah, dude, sorry, not gonna even make a comment. You could show me a video of Big J raping a girl and I'm like, you know what? He Wait, didn't do uh... it. That's my brother, he did not do that. Yeah, yeah. I was having sex with you that night. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would be your alibi. Hey, come uh, on. That was fun, that was a lot of fun. That was fun. That's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Lewis, I like, your, I like your new look. I know. All, all white? Just no, but straight sweatsuits like Floyd Yeah, Mayweather. but Jason does it better. What, Jason's sweatsuit? Same thing? look. Sweats, sweatshirt. Lewis looks ridiculous. Uh, but, ja <laughs> but Jason, do you have a watch that you think is awesome and important because it's made of metal? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Jay's trying to trash my really nice watch. Oh, wait, what kind of watch do you have? It's a tag. It's not that nice. Oh, what the fuck? Again, you folded immediately to Jason. <laughs> wow. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> How are you mad at me for betting against you? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Christ. You really did. He's like, you know what? Nah. That's <laughs> ah, that's fucking thing you know stupid. What? It doesn't even work. Yeah. You know what, Dirk? If you don't think it's cool, I'll probably get rid of it. <laughs> He's Scotty. You're to Scotty Jason's from Dirk. fucking Boogie Nights. Nah, it's if I mean, it's dumb. You know you, what? You know what? You want it? Like, you could even have it if it's Let, look, you know, it actually looks cooler on you. So Jason, that's cool. Jay later. Jay later at Naked Roast when Jason gets naked, Lewis is gonna go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like when Scotty sees Dirk's dick for the first time. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, fucking I'm idiot. a fucking idiot. Uh, fucking idiot. I fucking just fucking feel like idiot. sometimes you want to punch me. And I want to punch you back. <laughs> Man, I might let you get a free one in tomorrow. These guys are fucked up. <laughs> oh, shit. I was totally lying about the free one. I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> yes. You do. Oh, I know it. I'm so excited to watch that. Lewis, are you intimidated? Because that's a fucking no, tough I'm not, group. Look, Alice is the fucking man, okay? And, and the reality is we're doing this. We, we have a gentleman's agreement, so we're doing the, the musical chairs fight, but neither of us, the first round, neither of us, we've agreed, neither of us are going for the chair. We're just going to the corners and fucking slugging it out. What? Is that because you guys both don't think you can win and make it to the finals together? Mind tricks, dude. Listen to me. In round, if I get through Ellis in round two, I am going to be knocked out cold by Alan Joban. <laughs> it's just going to happen. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those guys are really good at knocking. I know, out. dude. I don't even want to think about it. I, yeah. I it, God damn it, dude. I don't want to. I'm so happy that Kyle Kingsbury is not here. Yeah. Yeah, he's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> he would have definitely. Uh, hurt you. He hurts everybody. He's a monster. He's if you so don't big. get hurt by him, you're being disrespectful. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. you're, oh, oh, you don't want to get hurt by me, but you want to tussle. It yeah. doesn't work like that. Like I'm gonna give you like a tremendous gift, and I'm gonna break your fucking ribs, or I'm gonna like blind you. Yeah. Because that's like the full experience. Wait a minute, is this Kyle Kingsbury? Or is this you talking it's right Kyle. now? <laughs> That's fucking fuck's hilarious. Going on Everything right now, he dude. does is like out of control. You're all right. You're all right. I'm not. You're all right. You're all right. <laughs> Lewis, don't fight him. I'll say it. I don't want you to get hurt. Come on, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being such a pussy, dude. Can mean you take a walk on the beach and you go, because I'm afraid. For the first time in my life, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't want to lose what I got. I rent a moderate home in New Jersey. <laughs> 
<laughs> like a true Puerto Rican, I rent a house and bought an expensive car. Ah, uh, that was one of my roast jokes, I think. Fuck, burned it. Oh. Damn it, dude. Really? Yeah, well, I gave little thought to all of them. <laughs> He's burning your roast set. <laughs> Hey, everybody, Jason Allen Show reminding you that liquid death is not beer. It is water. You can drink it. The black can got bubbles, and the white can is just H2O, baby. I drink it all the time. Recyclable cans. Think about it. No plastic islands coming from us over here. Everybody's on it, and if you're not on it, then you're dehydrated and stupid and not cool. Drinking water from a can is metal and everything why would you not want to be cool you know we gotta drink water it's it's what we're made of it's it's what we'll all return to someday we need to have water to stay alive you know what you got to be cool when you do it a lot of water bottles out there learning some pretty lame licks recyclable <laughs> do you want to look like gwyneth paltrow when you're drinking water yes i don't think so do you um, want to look like oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> i want to look like corpse grinder from Ca uh, cannibal corpse uh, you've probably too. seen this all over your social media anybody who's cool is drinking liquid death join us <laughs> <laughs> get free shipping on all water and merch at liquiddeath.com slash ellis that's liquiddeath.com slash Ellis. Or you can get it right down the street. Grab some at Whole Foods, Sprouts, or 7-Eleven. We're going to spill the beans on Athletic Greens. That's right. Kevin Kraft cannot stop singing the praises of Athletic Greens. Such an Love easy it. and efficient and tasty way to get the stuff your body needs on a day-to-day -day basis. Winter is here, and a lot of us are getting back to traveling. We've all been traveling recently, and I don't yeah. think I'm the only one that's got a little bit of a little bit of a sniffle, a little bit of a ah, 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 ah. You know what I need? I need something that is going to give me all those nutrients that I need without holding up my whole entire day. Yeah, Look, Michael, like if you're on the road mm -hmm. and you're in a, in a hotel where yep. they don't serve anything that doesn't have meat or cheese in it, and you don't eat meat or cheese. Right. You need athletic greens. Yep, you just drop it in a bottle of water and shake it up, and uh, you're going to get in that one tasty scoop of AG1, 75 vitamins, minerals, it and whole food sourced ingredients. I agree, including a multivitamin, multimineral, probiotic, green superfood blend, and more in one convenient daily serving. The special blend of high-quality, bioavailable ingredients and a scoop of AG1 work together to fill the nutritional gaps in your diet, support energy and focus, and with gut health and digestion, and support a healthy immune system, effectively replacing multiple products or pills with one healthy, delicious drink to make it easy for you. Athletic Greens is going to give you an immune-supporting free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs. I could have used those uh -huh. this weekend. Yep, with your first purchase, all you need to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash J-E-S today. Again, simply visit athleticgreens.com slash J-E-S to take control of your health and give AG1 a try. Take care of yourself, people. That's the thing. I have to do a roast tomorrow as well, so I can't actually be. Are you just getting roasted? No, but I have to roast as well. I have to do a second. Wait, you're gonna roast your? Oh, you roast everybody back? Yeah, I don't. Are well, you begging but... him to take it easy on you because you have to work after? What's happening? <laughs> Wait, you're Dude, saying I if, like... if I get you too tired that you won't be able to make no, fun of your if friends? My, if my jaw is broken, I cannot speak. I'm not gonna I would love to... a. I would love a through the wire response set. <laughs> 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 you know, Big J is here. <laughs> Big J is so fat. Look. <laughs> Big. <laughs> like, could you? You could write it down and have one of them say it for you. <laughs> Dude, that, I can't wait for brain. He says he loads. wants to go home and he wants a painkiller. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, if you just fucking put him in the dirt, and then he's got to get up and get roasted. Uh, <laughs> put him in the dirt. Just fucking knock his ass out. Jason's I've, nice. He's not going to get real until Lewis gets real. But I think Lewis is going to try to get real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, here's yeah. the problem. I'm not really good at fighting, so I don't have the ability to, like, like I, I can have, like, I can really shift down, like, very low, or I can go full speed. There's not much in between when you're what? just... 
Wait. Hey, coach, why don't you give him the game plan? What the fuck was that about? Well, what, you work for the Patriots? You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, no. I, I, I watched you have... go full speed today from like six inches away for like two minutes straight. Jason really knows what six inches is, too. I know what you do. I know, it. I know your punches. I saw your work. It's pretty good. It's fancy. Good luck. It's fancy. <laughs> You're not going to intimidate me, bro. I don't know. I'm not trying. I'm trying to say... The other thing is... You know, people me. think there's either f trippers like Ari Shafir who think that I have no... Like, oh, he's old. It's 20 years ago. Dude, I did a very old kick Labindi fucking five days ago. I will kick my ass. My 20, 20 years ago, I beat that guy. He, I'm bad now. Yeah. Maybe way sore <laughs> for like way longer, but for the actual punching bit, very good still. Yeah. So that's bullshit. But I also feel like I'm not as good as some other. I'm not a real. I know Joe I am. I know real fighters say you're a real broken. fighter. But you can say it. It's not true. Not real. Real it. fighters light me up. Like if I had a real fight tomorrow with Eddie Jackson, I would not win. And if I had a real fight with Alan Joban, I would not win. So, how good are you? Luckily, you're saying you're not having a real fight. <laughs> no, really, Lewis. I don't like this. I well, this, tell you. this is not a real fight tomorrow. This is a fucking musical chairs fight. Yeah. We, we're we still going to do our I MMA I would say fight. there'll be a real fight with you and me for about 20 seconds all up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we're going to get real, yeah. Yeah, you'll no. be like, uh-uh, pokey pokey. And I'll be like, go on, go on, go on. And then I'll be like, well, all right, you ready? And then we'll go. Three, two, one, bang, 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 bang. Yeah, I get I'm too old to move out of the way. Just yeah. do it. I like it. Damn, dude, this is a way to hype up a dude, fight. here's the thing. This guy's going to stand and trade. We are. Yeah. There's no then, doubt about it. I'm not fancy. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Lewis, is gonna be, Lewis is at the roast later just have blood trickling out of his ear. <laughs> My eyes are bleeding. <laughs> he goes, why is Zach whistling so high? <laughs> I'm terrified. Even though Jason has agreed to wear a blindfold and a dog collar, I'm nervous about what's going to happen. Let me God ask, forbid he gets pointed in the right direction. Let me ask you two both. Is there any scenario where after tomorrow there is no real fight next year? If Here's what I'll say. If, if you get, oh, I'll, no. I'll say this. If you, oh, get, if you no. get biscuited. My money's gone. If I fucking switch you off accidentally in 10 seconds, I'm not fighting you in the cage. No, you shouldn't be in there. If Jason Ellis knocks me out... He won't do that. I can already the tell. One minute, he can fight. No, if he knocks me out within the one minute, like knock, puts me out. There's no reason to do a real MMA fight. <laughs> We've done one aspect of a real MMA fight, and I got switched off in a minute. That would be fucking retarded. Okay, okay. But I just don't think he's going to do it. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I feel pretty fucking confident that Lewis. we'll be able to hang with him <laughs> Stay for positive, least Lewis. You never know. Lewis. Oh, dude. His concern <laughs> is that he'll knock you out by accident. <laughs> Fake an injury now! <laughs> I love you, man! No, Jay, I'm not a bitch, dude. I'd rather get knocked out than fucking fake you an injury. Know, God. You get your wish. Fucking Braveheart over here, fucking. I don't give a dude. live, or, I oh. live or die, man. I don't give a shit, fucking. I'm doing this to the death. Dude, yeah. it's fucking it's comedy don't boxing, you, dude. Don't you stop this fight. This is how fucking Apollo Creed died, man. <laughs> Hey, you want to do the twitchy thing and he's crying with the towel and shit? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to fucking surprise everyone tomorrow when I put it on Jason Ellis. There you go. And when that happens, everyone's going to be like, holy shit, Lewis actually beat Jason Ellis in fucking musical chairs boxing and then we're going to have a real fucking fight afterwards and everyone's going to be like, oh shit, you know what? Lewis might actually win that fight. Let's not fucking sleep on me, baby boys. Let's fucking go. Team Rattlesnake, let's go. Hey, I call bullshit on you. You're a bullshit artist. Shut up. Boo. Can or... it, hey, can you turn my pad up? You're a bullshit artist. <laughs> or. Or. Hey, you I get... call bullshit on that. Or we see Lewis in a halo after tomorrow's fight. Oh. Uh, Doggy, I'll tell you right now. Look, I. I would not be doing this if I did not think that I could compete. I, after today, after fucking d absolutely d uh, demolishing four of my adoring fans, I feel very I feel confident. like three of them started boxing like 15 minutes before the fight started. <laughs> yeah, wow, dude, that's tough competitors there. I'm just saying, dude, I'm going to show up tomorrow, and you better show up tomorrow as well. Because I'm, I'm not coming in to lose this thing tomorrow. Yes, we are friendly. We're cool. I like Jason. I don't want you guys to throw things at him. But the reality is I'm coming in to win this fucking fight tomorrow.
and then lose to Alan Joban in the second round. Good luck. I don't need luck. Okay, then see you there. <laughs> what the fuck? Then fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, you touch a man's board, that's really disrespectful. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, no, didn't, wrong guy. Go ahead, touch it. Lewis. It's Britney, bitch. That's one of my favorites. I don't think you're that intimidated by Jason, but Jason wants to fight you. That's the difference. What do you think? Do you don't think, Jay, you know me. Yeah. You know me. I do. You know me. I do. Wait, does that mean you want it? You know that I want this. Well, I wouldn't be here. I chose to do this. Right. This is all my doing. Yeah. No, you want to win? I invited him here. I said, let's fight each other. Yeah. I said, this okay. This is me. Yeah. This is, I, I was tricked into this. What are we fucking this talking like, about right it now? It sounds like a gay kid coming out to his parents. <laughs> this is the life I want. Stop ignoring it. I don't want your life. I wear makeup on purpose. I like to stop the it. You know what's crazy is I want to dance. I I get it. You get you completely. I feel get like it. I'm the only one you that get gets it. it. Jason, I, thought, I thought people where everyone was like, he's gonna kill you. I heard fucking some of my fans try to tell him when I was walking by, thinking I can't hear. Like, hey, seriously, go easy on him, all right? Yeah. And I'm like, don't fucking tell him to do that. Like, I came here to like get knocked out more than likely, but I was like, I want to fucking test myself. Can I say, though, if... You, You'll just, be way better. You're way better. Like, me versus Kyle is way worse than you versus me. Oh, it's a me. way bigger gap. Of yeah. course, of and course. And I fucking lived, so it's bullshit, all these people. Like, oh, your jaw, fucking smoothies. Nah, you'll be fine. No, no, I'm not, I'm not worried about fucking... You will fucking, lose, for sure. There's I, well, no fucking look, way. Yeah. I'm faster. I'm just better. You're... you're, a, you're I've been doing it. It's my life. I don't fucking quit when this sh this is my shit. You dude. are okay. You don't. I'm like. I've watched you. We've all watched you. You are okay. I don't have a UFC I highlight and career. I train with guys that are actual fucking pros, as do I you. Know the, I so if know. I can hang with them, don't I do have it. No pros. Shut the fuck up, Jay. Stay home Shut with me. Shut the fuck Stay up. Stay home with me and the kids. How'd you hang? That's what matters. Your family's what matters. <laughs> Why do you gotta chase this crazy dream? The rattlesnake. I need Lewis J. <laughs> Suck my dick. Yeah. That's fair. Spot on. Yeah, we should just worry about everybody else having a good time because you're making it stupid. No, I'm not. You know? Like, you can go for it. Good for you. But if there's like 25 other dudes and then there's all these other people watching, no, it, just put on a good there's show. There's two men, me don't, and you. Don't be weird when, you, when I beat there's you up. There's two men in okay? there. Be Shut cool. up. Do me a favor, security, eject anybody booing me. You don't think I have that fucking power right now? I legitimately... Uh... Security! <laughs> security! <laughs> Mama! Carolyn, eject everyone right now. <laughs> Carolyn, you junkie, get out there. Quick, quick, hit her with a dab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be out in a second. <laughs> if you, uh, so will I. I fucking hate watching that. I don't like, yeah. Caps rule. Shit is creepy. Lewis, are you prepared to put up for bet your mid-level tag hewer watch? Oh, uh oh. I got like, uh, wait, I got like, uh, I got some skateboard wheels in the in my bag. Skateboard wheels? What is that? I'm betting, I'm betting my tag versus some skateboard wheels. No way. What, what, do, you wanna, what do you want to bet? What about my red drag, my red dragon chain? Oh. Damn. Take a man's chain, dude. Ice Cube almost got shot for that. Don't smash it. Don't, smash don't it. touch it. What, what is it worth? I don't know, a couple of grand or something. More than your tag. <laughs> no, it's not a bad one. It's a, it's a decent oh, no, no, one. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. The old Chinese lady who I sold like it to it. him also sold him a Fendi bag. <laughs> I think it's, it's Yeah, it's real. real. Yeah, it's real. It's real. He's it good. Like, oh. Same inside. Yeah, Same I, inside! Wish I had that fucking tester thing in my pocket just to <laughs> fuck him up. Be like, oh, I mean, look, it was real. I thought I mean, my girlfriend gave it to me and she said it was real. I don't know, it's making a weird noise. I can't test her right now. <laughs> Put it up, dude. Watch for his chain. Watch for his chain. I just don't, no offense, that chain's very cool. tattoos? I just don't want... You want to you bet some tattoos? Yeah. That's Skankfest tattoos? Yeah. So if I win, if I win in that minute, you got to get a, a Legion of Skanks tattoo. 
Yeah. And if you win, I gotta get an Ellis Fam tattoo, a Wolf yeah. Knights tattoo. Yeah. Yeah, right now. I would, I would kind of do that anyway. I just. I know, really, I would. I know. Do you want to do that? No, we just ruined it. If I win, no, I don't want one. Fuck that. But seriously, I'll take that bet. You cocksucker, you fucking, you guys fucking boot duped me again. Fucking idiot. Now I'm gonna be (laughs) naked. Next thing you're gonna go skank tattoos. Probably mean some code shit for like I like it in the ass, which is true. So fuck me. If I win, you have to get an I love Tyron Woodley tattoo. <laughs> That's so bad. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. I would never do that. <laughs> Even if you agreed to fight me with your hands tied yeah, behind yeah. your back, I would, what happens if I trip and fall? <laughs> I cannot get that tattoo. I, you have to get an I love Jake Paul tattoo on your face. Ooh, I still would rather that than fucking Woodley. He yeah, fucked up. I he did. really blew it for me. I'm like, you're better, and you need to punch that dude. And now he gets to walk around and be like, beep, 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 I'm fine to anybody. I'm like, fuck, I, you're not very good. And now you kind of look good because Woodley didn't want to risk getting punched. Yeah. That's, sorry, yeah. so boring. But if I was Woodley and I had his speed and his skill, I'd be like, okay, fuck face. Maybe I'll get tired, but watch this. Watch two minutes of everything I've got. I don't think that dude could If I had it. Woodley's body and butt, I'd be doing the naked roast tonight. Right. Yeah, that, uh, I guess that would help. Yeah. <laughs> Fact. Is it cool, is it weird if I like like chub up and stuff? No, no everyone everyone is in the back. Fucking. So I was just, gonna. I, I was gonna. Harry, Harry Harry fluffing. Fucking, yeah, I was gonna no, take a boner uh, pill and see if I could. Uh, have you ever tried a karate chop uh, uncooked spaghetti? Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> how many how many strains have you chopped at once? I don't know. I dude, I don't think I could even get one. I got. Yeah. I think at one time on the show, I might have got like a half a pack. True wow. story. Yeah, I know. Was that what? a girl that said that? I, I, at Wolfmate on Instagram. Is that your, is that your boyfriend? Well, then, yeah, at Wolfmate on Instagram. What's up? Straight through the spaghetti. Dude, that spaghetti, that spaghetti snapped my dick in half. <laughs> so if you wouldn't mind putting a box of dry pastina by your snatch later. <laughs> You're gonna get an al dente fucking. Whenever, whenever, when everybody has that out, I just out comes the fucking boner and I start chopping. I feel every time if you don't fucking put it in that in that in that bowl and start cooking it lickety split, my fucking chub is up and ready to start slicing to show you that I beat dry spaghetti 99 percent of the time. Oh yeah, dude, I'm, dude I'm just, I should thank Blue Chew for this podcast. <laughs> Dude, I just want to, I would love to be able to have a heavy of a, a, enough of a dick to do, like, fun tricks with it. My dick's just pathetic, dude. If I try to chop spaghetti with it, it would just make no sound. I'm just, it's a sad fucking... Can I, can my, I, my dick is not good. It, it gets hard, right? You, you do it with your hard dick? You gotta, dude, to get through hard spaghetti, are you serious? Oh, I was imagining I'm talking soft, fucking a- whack. Nah. You mean he's lassoing it? Yeah, dude. It's like, I, a, it's like a... Yeah, it's, do you think you're throwing like a fucking rubber arm at it? Yeah, dude, like <laughs> some sort of pistol whip? Nah. Yeah, it's like I Indiana can see Jones, that, though. Dude. I like that technique, like a fucking twist like the head like around. Like a bar of soap in a sock. Just whack. You can't bitch whip the spaghetti. You got to yeah. come in strong. Fucking shut up. Oh, you know? just, you just, like, just like you, you hold it up to your belly button and just let it go. Like... Whoa, whoa. Yeah, now I go over the table you know, and, and shit the fuck. What the fuck, you know? Damn, dude, go to the naked roast because I'm going... Right. Splitting spaghetti like that? I gotta send Joe incredible. Off. Is that weird? Dude, can we get some. I'm gonna uh, get nervous energy penis. Skank fest. I, need, work out. I need this. I need him to break spaghetti on the naked roast tonight with his dick. So I'm can not we doing get, that. I'm not fucking. I'm, bo- I'm not fucking boning up, dude. That like, is I'll true. walk around naked for you, fair enough. But I'm not. Well, That's wait a minute, true. guys. Wait a minute. Let me just get a. I'm Ooh. not. I'm not. Hold on. This could. Wow, it's, Ellis. No, you guys don't know if this is breaking some old Texas law. What, gay sex on camera? Yeah, like, you can't have a hard penis and pasta <laughs> on stage in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the legislature. I don't know, but as of now, I have Sam to Houston this. himself established that rule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to yell that when you break the pasta. <laughs> yeah. I, need a, I need a whip in one hand as well. <laughs> dude, yeah, full bone, don't do it, dude. But it is impressive. 
Yeah. Is there a chair when I'm judging this? Yeah, you'll be sitting, you'll be at a table. You cool. Know, other naked people, you're fine. Right. So it's more of a, hey, everybody, here's my dick, and yes. then see you later, here's my anus. Yeah. Right. There you go. I'm cool with that. That you're sounds good. like another day in the life of me. You're going to have a blast. We usually do, we've done it every year at Skankfest on the opening night of Skankfest. This is the first year we're doing it on the second night. But ha has anybody been to the Naked Roast before? Yeah. Dude, it's it's fucking wild. It's wild. It's, it's just, because it's everything you think is going to be. It's just a bunch of comedians who don't actually want to be naked. Nobody wants to be naked up there. It is the most, it's the closest to rape that you will ever get to achieve. Well, not all of you. It's the closest to rape that like 80% of you will ever get to achieve. You're just uncomfortably staring people down that don't want to be there. It is delightful. Can I ask, is there any titties in this house? I think there's probably one or two chicks involved. Right. Do they go full vag or are they just like, no, that's, you got dicks, but you know, like titties is almost like the same as a dick, which isn't. Dude, Show us your badge. Two years ago, a girl pulled her jokes out of her pussy. Yeah, and she, had them, she had them wrapped up in a plastic baggie, and then she goes, hold on, I forgot my set. And then she pulled them out of her pussy. Allison Clamp, shout out to Allison she Clamp. She win? Skankfest Legends. Yeah, she won. Oh, yeah, she, she won. won. Okay, oh, yeah, good. She won. You guys know what you're doing then. And then we had a, we had a trans we had a trans comedian last year, and then uh, she just came out. Yeah, Margot with her dick tucked between her legs, and then she just opened it and it went just a big fat cock. Yeah. Went, wang, wang, bang, 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 bang. went nuts, and everyone went fucking crazy. They Amazing. loved it. That was a winner. They oh yeah, she won. We were oh. all winners that night. I remember that. The only thing left is someone to pull jokes out of their pee hole. Oh, I got a foreskin I could trap it in. Yeah, that's you got, fun. I, you know what? This could be a killer team because I can't write, write jokes. Yeah. Maybe you could give me good ones and put them in my foreskin. I would love to, I would love to be your dick writer. Right. Oh, oh my God. What if it, we should get... We should give my dick a show. Yeah. 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 It's only half the audience, which makes it sadder. You can just feel it's only this half. You're like, all right, yeah. I'm sorry, left that side. That is weird. I haven't heard it. Like unanimous unanimous chant. Dude, I'm very excited for this naked roast now and the, for the fight. God, you guys are good at selling shit. Yeah, dude. It's been fun, dude. Skankfest has been a crowd. Have you guys had a good time so far? Yeah, I love it here. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Because I, I was invited out to, to, uh, to your event, to Ellis Mania, and it was a very similar vibe. All the people fucking love each other. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's getting fucked up. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Dude. I would Especially. say the only the difference between our audience and your audience is our audience is willing to make homophobic jokes. And that's really just a thin line. That's it. I think that we they would have been exactly the same except for that one bit where I went off and started slobbing knobs. <laughs> that threw like a lot of my fans. And then they were like, what's going on spin. here, dude? Ah, yeah. oh, shit, guys. Is Carolyn asleep with her eyes open or is she awake? <laughs> <laughs> I was just enjoying oh, the she's show. She's awake. She's awake. She's awake. She's good. She's good. Guys, wellness check. Carolyn. Spot check. Lift her arm. She's good. She's good. <laughs> you gotta give her the old wrestling one, two, three arms. I mean, the first night of Skankfest, Car I just, uh, Carolyn was just in the green room with a. Uh, she had a badge on that was just it said it was written staff with a marker on it, and she was all fucked up on ketamine. And she's like, I'm on ketamine and I'm working. <laughs> Should have wrote that on the show as well. Yeah. So, you're. But no, I'm the only person here right now that's going to the Naked Roast Naked. Sounds like. Uh, but somehow you're there. I'm going to go watch it, dude, as a fan. I'm one of the people. Wait. I'm one of the I'm sorry, dude, that you live in the Hollywood fucking hills or Jason, whatever. Jason, can I tell you something right now? Wait, did you, you just... Can bully, you could bully Lewis into doing it probably if you wanted to. <laughs> you're... You're about to see how much more I fear showing my little dick to this guy. <laughs> than I fear Jason you know what? Ellis. But I thought you said on, on a level of karma, I won't push it. Yeah, dude. I'll tell you right now, you can. Hey, Jason Ellis could jump me with eight UFC fighters, and I would literally just be holding my dick, like, please don't show my dick to everybody. Please, please don't show my dick to everybody. Wait, yeah. you seriously have an event where you're going to be in it? You're going to be there. And I'm naked and you're not. I'm in the audience. He's not dude. in it, though. He's not part of the show at all. Yeah, but you're there. He is. So and, you're, and you're Lewis of Skankfest. And you're like, oh, yeah, these guys are the naked guys. I'm yeah, just like you, the guy in charge. Fucking... He's right, dude. It's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> you guys it are... just seems like you call me and at the drop of a hat, I go, 
yeah, I don't even know if skank people are going to like beat me up when I get here, when I first get here. And I go, yeah, I'll get naked in front of all your fans. Yeah. And you won't? Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. What does that I, show? Uh, I just gave you the... What the, kind of confidence does that show? First of all, you get naked in front of this audience, they're going to fucking love you for the rest of their lives. Why don't okay? you let them love you? I thought you liked they me. They already love the most. Love me. The other guy fucking no, jumping Lewis, in and making him they carry want everywhere. They you to be naked, I, I think. Get naked. get naked, Lewis. <laughs> Nobody wants to no, see your dick. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Lewis I get is it. not having fun right now. He's like, just go to another subject. We're <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Yeah. Show your dick. Show your dick. Yeah, just just do it that way. You want to do it? It's okay. It's okay. We should not ask to see people's penises too much. It'll get weird. No, I would. I'll sh I'll show you guys that. I'll, I, if we had a projector, I'd show a picture of my dick right now because I have perfect pictures of my cock. Of somebody else's. No, it's my dick. Oh yeah, like oh, but you did it like. No, I'll show you the from fucking... an angle that made it look yeah. bigger than it is. Hell yeah, dude. Just because you say that you did you did the angle, that doesn't make it. You're bullshitting. What do you show mean? me your real skinny dick. Don't fucking oh no oh this is the fat one. Jason, it's not skinny. Oh, it's just short. It's just short. Short's okay. Chicks don't mind short. It's the skinny ones they don't like. You're fine. Yeah, no, it's it's short. It's just, I mean, look, soft. It's just, there's nothing impressive about okay. it. Jason, if you saw my soft, look, dick, I, I mean, don't think girls no, know because no, no, I know some no. girls. I swear to God, I don't think girls know. Dicks are emotional. It's there's several starting. sizes. There's <laughs> several sizes, and you never know what you're gonna get. All right. So Jason, just relax. If, you, if you saw my soft dick, I mean this, I would get so in what my head you... that you would kill me in a fight. <laughs> I couldn't show you my soft dick. I wouldn't let you have that information. Yeah, he wouldn't want you to fight with that kind of confidence. It's true. <laughs> show us your dick, you fucking Yeah, you fucking homo. losers. Somebody... Or at least make your dick say something funny. The show has been fucking hilarious. First of all, you fucking pussy. Yeah, he's right though. It did, it did take a lull. You're right. You're right. But at the same time, go fuck yourself. Yeah, seriously. You thank uh, Mr. Ellis for stopping Lewis from beating you up. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Should we talk about something else? Uh, Jay, Dan, how's our job treating you? <laughs> oh man, can we talk about something else? <laughs> I'm happy for you, and I don't know much about football or who won the fights tonight, but I'm excited to find out what about the weather today. Hey. I'm I happy. Mean, they, they, took, they went to the same network and the same time slot, yeah, correct? the same boss. Damn, doggy. It's cold, know that. man. You're just sitting there like you're yeah, his friend. Did it it was think... fucking months after the, it, they yeah, were that, let that's go. That's what I heard. I heard you did it yeah, all dude, on don't purpose. Worry. Our clips was totally cold. Yeah, I heard you guys uh, use baby blood... <laughs> to uh, steal our job. Yeah, we hired a shaman. Yeah. yeah, and you guys pray to owls and you have secret rings. Oh, Mr. Ellis, I didn't want any parts of that job. Dan made me. <laughs> <laughs> but Jay, you said the time slot was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite number is 103. <laughs> I heard it's a hit job from Jim and Sam. I think Cavino and Rich set you up. What? I don't... They set you up. Oh, Jim and Sam. They're great. Those, they fucking. What? Are you talking to the guy behind me? Who sir, are you? Sir, oh. I, 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 sir, I mean this. I will have you removed from the whole festival. For this one, for this one moment, you get to have this. And you'll be removed from the whole festival. How does that make you feel? Yeah, so shut the fuck up. No, no, I don't give a fuck. I literally, and I mean this, you have one, if, you, if your next word isn't I'm fucking sorry, you'll be fucking removed from this festival. So think about it nice and clear. Think about it nice and clear. I, I swear on my fucking son's life. Go ahead. Go ahead. Test me. Test me. Yeah, shut the fuck up and sit down, bitch. Fucking asshole, dickhead, fuckface. Yeah, sit down. Say another fucking word. I'll take that fucking tag off your neck myself. I swear to fucking Christ. Yeah, that's right. Walk the fuck away slowly, idiot fucking pussy. Kid sign a waiver tomorrow if he wants to. Yeah, just sign up for the fucking uh, musical chairs fights, pussy. 
All right, anyway, can we be friends? What the fuck? Just one drunk guy? Who oh, cares? This, this so fucking angry. sucks, man. This, this what happens sucks. as soon as you that talk about... That was my plus one. <laughs> Aha! I, I see the person. brains behind the operation. That man was sent by Shane Gillis. No, he wasn't. Oh, uh, you no, he mother... Wasn't. Oh, man. Dude, Shane was about Shane to get Gillis that guy. Shane Gillis hates the show. I knew it. Now I'm hurt. Dude, Shane, I followed him all the way back to the room. Dude, Shane was about to get that guy that kicked the fuck out. That poor guy just got chumped for something Shane made him do. Shane, wow. you should fight that guy in Alice May tomorrow. Dude, that guy was like, Shane's going to love me for this. And now he has to walk around the rest of the festival with his tail between oh his legs. Oh, my God. Shane, do you understand the panic you're going to cause that man when he wakes up tomorrow? <laughs> when he's not hammered, he's like, oh, fuck, dude. I even went to the front of the crowd and yelled. He's going to keep saying over and over in his head, whatever you want, Shane. Whatever you think's right, Shane. <laughs> he's like, uh, I was fucking drunk. And I said, I'm going to say this show sucks. And Shane was like, hell yeah, dude, do that. <laughs> Did I follow him? I was like, look at... I can't believe you can see that far. Man. See, that's Shane. That's Shane right there. Uh, Guys. Fuck you, Shane. Yeah, I don't have anything. Hey, funny, everybody, so. let's bring Shane Gillis up here, huh? Yeah. Shane, come on up. Shane, 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 Shane. 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 Boo. 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 I'm going to unplug Shane's mic tomorrow while he's performing. <laughs> like, at, like in Forrest Gump, I'm going to be like, <laughs> Dude, it'd be even better if just Jason walked to the front of the crowd at their show tomorrow and just stood there with his arms folded. <laughs> Jason's like, uh, hey, dude. <laughs> Man, can you leave me out of it? I was trying to stay out of the whole thing, except for some weird reason it's directed at me. I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck. Well, maybe I'm not. Fuck. Give me a break, man. No, man. I, I watched that. That was a terrorist act. Yeah, that was crazy. Wow. That was the work of a domestic terrorist. Shane's trying to... And now I feel bad what because I just... I mean, I was very threatening toward that man. It was... I'm not going to lie. I yeah, almost, hey, thanks for having my back, I got way. you back, yeah. dude. That was crazy, dude. That was crazy. Yeah. Now... Now that I know Shane put him up to it, I feel kind of bad. Mean, but, dude, think next time. We just talked about Sirius XM for a few seconds. Yeah. I get it. People My get bummed God. at that. Yeah. See how much in, that in, in trouble that company is? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah, once again, get me out. Okay, so anybody uh, got anything else to say that doesn't involve punching to the face or you know what in the sky? The yeah, hang on one thing. second, guys. Carolyn, wake the fuck up, would you? <laughs> <laughs> are you guys going to announce some shit tomorrow? Or, like, are you going to be on the mic when we're fighting, or who's going to? Oh, are I any will. of you going to do be that? Happy to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dan and Jay both do that. If we get What's two that? mics for me and Dan, I'd love to. Fuck yeah, I would love to. Uh, no one gives a shit. <laughs> yeah, they do. What are you talking about? He was like, "Would you guys do it?" I go, "Yeah, me and Dan will commentate," and everyone's like, "Great." Oh, huh. I think it, I feel like everyone just expects you to be there for that, right? Yeah, I hope. Well, yeah. They're like, if, you're like, if you're like, yeah, I would love to, but I kind of like, I got to take a piss or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's going to be like, wait, Sorry. you're not going to go? I'm doing a meet and greet. Yeah, I'd love to, but. I would love to, but my show's actually live at the same time <laughs> in the other room. But hey, good luck. <laughs> no dude, one got no, the dude, analogy. Dude, Mania was so much fun today that they stopped the other stage. They didn't want to yeah. counter-program it. It was fucking so wild and fun. So it was awesome. Yeah. So what? So you think next year you want to have more Ellis Mania fights? At oh, hundred percent, dude. Later, I, I, yeah. I mean, open invite for Ellis Mania at Skankfest every fucking year. You guys are the best, dude. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. It was incredible. Yeah, who no. wants to see the bonfire fight? Am I right? No, I would. The what? Hey, you know, Ari Shafir was like considering Sam Tripley. He considered it. For tomorrow. And Sam, not for, I don't think for tomorrow. Oh. Cons, I think he wants to train, you know, the whole thing like you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fight fat. Ari, Ari versus Sam Tripoli would be such a fun fight. It would be. I think he could be talked into it because I think Ari, he said he can't punch. You could learn enough to punch against Sam Tripley. Sam Tripley's better, but he's not a year of boxing to get to catch him. You can no, catch him. Sam stinks. 
He doesn't stink that Sam bad. He I, 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 would, I would fucking box Sam up with ease. And I mean that. See, I feel I'll, like you, I'll, you I'll got a lot of confidence. I'll box Sam to warm up for the music, musical chairs fights tomorrow. I swear to God. You think I, you oh, would destroy him? I will, I will challenge Sam. Who seriously thinks he would be? Something funny. <laughs> <laughs> be funny. Yeah. Say one more word, motherfucker. One more word. You'll be fucking out on your ass in the streets of Houston. Hey, you, I dare you. You rip my lambit like a lift ticket? <laughs> That's enough for you. I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's right. Every time someone says that, that's my weakness. I go, wait, am I? <laughs> Fuck, then how'd I get up here? Ah, oh, shit, yeah. this whole thing's a farce. The whole and thing now is... they know. That's it. It really is. That's comedy in a nutshell. If they all found out, it's a farce. That's why I thought I had a chance. Is up. I've always heard how much you guys hate it yourselves. And I was like, man, I, I hate me. <laughs> Can I, can't I hang out and tell <laughs> jokes? Oh, fuck, I hate me too. This is awesome. Yeah. And everyone goes back afterwards and goes, fuck, that's, you know, it would have been better if my life wasn't so shit. And I'm like, yeah, cool, you guys are doing that. That's what I do. Yeah, You're you really good at it, though, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, but not fighting, though. Terrible at fighting. But funny, funny. But funny. Someone you know, told I'm me okay. that you're not professional today. I'm okay at being funny, and I'm less good at fighting. Do you study the craft? Of comedy? Yeah. Or... Yeah. Do I study the craft? Somebody said that they study the craft. And you don't. Who the fuck studies the craft? Was... Oh. <laughs> right. What time is the naked roast? Bro? He didn't. Hey, for the record, it wasn't him. Jay, do you think you studied the craft? Hmm? Jay studies. Jay studies boxes of craft macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Dan, you have. You, I you study have a craft. craft, right? No, dude. Come on. You, you don't. don't you you don't work on craft. your craft, dude. No, that is fucking dumb. Oh. Well, then what do you do? I try to be silly. J Oh, and every then guys time? like that yell at me, and then I hate myself more. Right. But then I realized they were sent for my friend, and I realized it's <laughs> funny. It does work, so it works on everybody. Right? Everybody, every single person, like you fucking suck. Right. I like, fucking oh, hate that guy. Right? Even if you're like, dude, I totally, I was joking. Fuck you, you cunt. <laughs> You dude, he's going to absolutely, after this naked roast, when he sees your dick, he's going to be like, I must apologize to you. Dude, yeah. I'm going to You know what? Maybe I will stroke it. I changed my <laughs> mind. Because nothing's more terrifying than a man that's ready to fight with an erection. I've always known this. Dude, I know that this guy was sent by Shane, and I'm still sort of salty about it. Like, I want to go find him in the crowd right now. I'm so mad. You should fight him. I should fucking find him. I still think there's an outside chance Shane didn't send him. You no, I so? watched it. No. We've been flipping oh, each other shit. off. Oh, shit. Wait. That changes everything. <laughs> Someone said that he didn't do it. Wait. So now we need to really... Wait, what? There, there he is. Again. He's back. Oh, shit. The uh, hound is back. Choose your next words very carefully. Oh, he's back to being evil again. Go cool. Ahead. This is awesome. Oh, dude. Oh, oh. oh. That's so sad. <laughs> Fuck you, Shane. You made this giant turn into a pussy. Yeah, dude, this is... Sir, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for yelling at you, dude. I just thought you were trying to fucking heckle our show, and I would have kicked you out violently had that been the case. But now that I know Shane, who you also love and respect, puts you up to in a hilarious prank, I sort of respect it, and I feel bad now for you. Hey, dude, I'm sorry for yelling at Wait, you and threatening you. he's still you. trying to say something. I think he still hates me. What happened? Who? Oh. Alice? Hell I yeah, will. Dude. I will probably lose. Give that guy an artist pass. <laughs> right now, give him the full access, all access to everything right now on premises. Give him Shane's artist pass. That's a good <laughs> prediction. <laughs> <laughs> and Shane, now you got to enter in for a chance to win a PlayStation 5 and musical chairs fight tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good deal. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think Jason needs to start warming up on some fusilli for the, oh, for the naked roast. Uh, it's man, about just that for time. a brief second when I hated myself because I'm not funny, I forgot that now I have to be naked in front of people. I, I just <laughs> realized I'd rather more. suck than be naked. <laughs> it's a nice one-two punch. Yeah. Is it weird? Can I... If you show your anus, that's like... You, there's no way you can kill, keep looking, right? Because it's you, just so gross. You're going to bend over and spread? Yeah, because I feel like, why would... Who, if you stare at that, you're so fucking tweaked. I'll be honest with you, I'm just buzz. But I'll take a peek at your shitter. <laughs> but not, not if I stayed in that pose. You, got, you would definitely get out of there, right? No, I would draw my eye a lot. That's what I'm saying. 
Oh, because I feel like I, there'd be an initial blast of a few people looking into the eye of the beholder, but in the, in, in, inevitably it would be too gross because mine's ass is fucked. No. How, how is, how is cool. it today? I know, I know your anus has good days and bad days. Oh, is today a, a good anus day or a bad? It's just anus roids. Day? It's just roids. No big oh, deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not like yeah, a, just push those back in. It's dude, just you, similar. What's you that? have obviously never seen Ari Shafir's asshole. What was the dude that is on Arnold Schwarzenegger's chest? That Quato. Says, yeah, Quato. It's, like, it's, a, it's yeah. a little bit of a Quato. Yeah, it's a bit gross. But yeah, we should probably leave. Your ass, your asshole can show me the reactor. Sorry about yeah. the <laughs> sorry about the wet pussies, ladies. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, we're chopping up later. Hey, I want to say one more time thanks to all the people that fought because everybody put in everything that they had. <laughs> Win or lose, the people in the musical chair fight, if you lost in your first fight, I didn't see one person who didn't completely go for it and go way past what they thought they could do. So thank you to all the people that did that. And then, of course, thanks to all the people that didn't know the event that uh, didn't, like, throw cans at us or anything. We appreciate that. And then give it up for these guys, our guests, because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't fucking be here. Thanks for having us, guys. Thanks for having us. All right, everybody. Uh, see you around. Don't die. If you want more Jason Ellis show, sign up for their Patreon at patreon.com slash for a two-hour show every Tuesday and Wednesday. To watch full episodes of The Jason Ellis Show, subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash The Jason Ellis Show. And don't forget to follow the crew on Instagram at Wolfmate, at Tollywood, at Kevin Craft, at Underwear Wolf, and at The Jason Ellis Show.